Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Poke Card Champ. So uh, this today's video, this video is going to be a little bit differently from uh, the normal videos you're used to seeing. Today, um, I'm actually going to help you guys uh, help you guys uh, price out your stuff. So uh, I noticed uh, one time when I was going to pick up some cards for a video um, that there was. Well, I, I went. To, I had gone to a Walmart and I had noticed, like usual, or actually surprisingly, prices at Walmart were a little higher than, say, uh, prices at EB Games, which is typically where I uh, go to pick up Pokemon card packs. Um, so I was helping, and there was a parent there helping his kid pick out some packs, and I had told them, you know what, it's a better idea to go and go to EB Games for a cheaper price because packs. Uh, even though they weren't fairly new, they were still a little on the high end. So today we're going to be comparing uh, a Morpico pin collection, a XY Primal Clash, since that's an older um, booster pack. And we're going to be comparing a Rebel Clash uh, booster pack today. So we're going to start off with the uh, Rebel Clash booster pack. So uh, for the edge bent, for the normal price for anyone that might just walk into the store, oh hey, I want to buy a, uh, a pack of cards, you know, it's $6.49. So that's a little on the high end. That's like something you would buy for um, buy for a Darkness of Blaze, which just uh, was recently released. So six forty nine would be like the standard price. But then again, this ha this uh, expansion hasn't been out for well, it's been out for a while. But um, you know, for the price, it for the hot for the price on the high end, the six forty nine price, it's. Uh, Again, it's a little on the high end, and it's compared to more of uh, a newer pack. Now, me, I got it for five eighty four each. Uh, that's in Canadian because I'm an Edge Platinum member, and that actually saves it. So I use this general rule when, um, whenever I'm buying packs. So roughly, let's say each pack is about five dollars, just as a base price, and five dollars is reasonable. And uh, the only reason I'm buying from EB Games is because I get the Edge Platinum membership price. So that's. Uh, so always uh, compare what you can to uh, to wherever you can. Yeah. Because, you know, it's money at the end of the day. It's Pokemon. You, everyone loves it. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's always good. It's always good to check around and save yourself some money. Which brings me to my next point. Um, so XY Primal Clash is a little older. So this was really, this uh, expansion was released in 2015. I'm going to assume this was released with the, uh, with, uh, or, with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or just shortly after, because it has uh, uh, Primal Kyogre and Groudon, Mega Gardevoir, which was featured in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and Mega Agron. So that's how you know it's a newer pack. Now this one, because it's been out for a while, they probably had to reprice it, or this might just be the original price tag on it. Uh, base price four ninety nine, um, which that that's pretty good. So five bucks isn't uh, isn't too bad for. A pack of cards but again i got it on the lower end because i'm a platinum member so always uh compare your prices you might not find these ones but if you go to an eb games just ask them what single booster packs do you have and that's typically uh that, that's typically the good thing to do 449 good price and more than likely you'll get something good for that one so and now for the next point uh i'm bringing up more so uh, more so this whole thing uh, the more pico pin collection and this can be applied to every pin collection or three pin or three booster pack and even some of the packs that have appeared in my previous video so more specifically for the three packs so you gotta you gotta think about it okay so roughly five dollars a pack so you got fifteen dollars of cards right there so which brings it about to on the low end fifteen dollars but platinum on the low end is twenty dollars and then you got to think, okay, what else are you paying for? You're paying for the special packaging, you're paying for the pin, and you're paying for a bonus card and a code card automatically assumed. So that's going to bump up the that's going to bump up the price a little bit more, which it's understandable for some of them, but uh other packs like uh the True Steel one that can go for $40, that's more of a premium thing because you get uh you get just a little bit more and you get some special figurines in it. So again, always um always just go and compare it uh, the pin and the special cards, they're going to bump up the price plus the special packaging. They'll find any way to jack up the price. So this was $22.99 on the high end and $20.69 on the lower end, which again, because I'm a platinum member, that's what I was able to secure it for. And again, that's why I go and um, 
and uh, buy from EB Games as opposed to Shoppers Drug Mart. Like if I were to go to a Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada right now, uh, this pack here, uh, it's one fixed price. It would be for $5.99, which isn't too bad, which isn't, but again, it isn't too good if you can get it, say, for 10 cents cheaper. Like over time, <clears throat> it adds up for people that enjoy collecting cards. So always uh, go around, compare, and uh, that'll cover it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks, folks.